it's an emotional day. Um, 35 years ago, I made this walk myself, and now seeing my son in the same tux is uh, it's hard to believe. Just proud to see him from the beginning to the end of high school, see how much he's grown, and just love every moment that he's been here at school. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, but you know, just to see the progression. I think I was reflective this morning looking at one of the pictures that we took uh, freshman year behind the backdrop and just now we're at the end of the, the journey. So it's been kind of a, see, this is a happy, good emotions. I'm gonna show you something. You guys can hold this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. That's, that's the one I was looking at this morning. <laughs> So this was from the freshman welcome night in 2020. And it's just crazy to see the growth, not only from like a physical standpoint, but also just, I mean, spiritual, mental, just everything. I've grown in every facet of my life. I kind of feel more comfortable with kind of who I am and the direction I want to take in my life. I just feel more prepared to like kind of take on the challenges that I'm going to see in college, my career, my future. It's crazy how far I've come knowledge-wise, faith-wise, just all of the above. Yeah, I definitely grown a lot. I mean, changed my mindset on a lot of things. Yeah, I was able to become organized, knew that whenever I had deadlines, I was supposed to make them. Any kind of resource I needed, made sure to be on top of that. I feel like I've grown uh, with my academics. I came from middle school. I was like a C, B student, but with the help of the DePaul program, Miss Messino, and the great teachers and administration here, I've boosted from a C to B to like a B to A, um, mainly. So I feel like the academics here really have boosted and helped me grow. I definitely have seen him grow, not only academically, but in terms of his maturity level, in the way he carries himself, the way he manages his responsibilities. And I credit that in part to the experiences that he had at Mount St. Joe. It's, it's not a secret that the curriculum is challenging and that Mount St. Joe expects a lot of their students, but because they do that, they help to prepare them for the challenges that are ahead. I just would like to thank the teachers. The community that they've created here at Mount St. Joe is amazing. Uh, they create a, an environment that's just full of love and, and, and understanding of challenging the students to really help, help them grow. It's amazing to watch. It's really amazing to watch you grow. But. I've had a, like a really great share of great teachers, but I think the one teacher I think I'd want to thank the most is Mr. Harris. Uh, I started my St. Joe career with him. I ended my St. Joe career with him. Uh, he taught me, you know, don't complain, don't don't fret over things, just do it. Just do it, get it done, and you become a better person out of it. I mean, it, for me, it was everybody, honestly. I, the teachers and the administration have been so supportive of Aiden and his success, particularly the college counseling department this last year has been amazing. We would like to thank the entire Mount Change of Faculty for helping me grow, and a special thanks to Mr. Andrews and counselor Mrs. Johnston for helping Sean throughout the four year and um, helping him get ready to the college. Um, without trying to get too emotional, junior year, um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and um, Ms. Messino was there every, every second, sending food home, you know, checking on me, checking on Bryce, giving me updates, so definitely want to thank Ms. Messino. But definitely Mr. Stromberg has been a great mentor and confidant for Braden, somebody that he could go to in times of joy and in times of not the greatest joy, who just stood by him and was a great confidant, friend, and mentor for him. When we first started uh, with James here at, at uh, St. Joe, we had ju I had just started a business, and so we were three years without, without uh, an income, and we were lucky enough that somebody stepped up to, to sponsor us for a scholarship. And it made all the difference. It made it something where we could do this, where it was something that could push us, uh, that we said, we, we know we can do this then. Uh, and, and since then, we've been able to go ahead and, and, and step up and, and, and pay the tuition and, and give back on top of that. So we're just thankful for those people that, that were able to help us in the beginning years, and we look forward to giving back to St. Joe in the same way.